So it's great to be here. And I work at MIT, and MIT is a uh, special place, a remarkable place. Behind me, you can see the campus from above, and that's the McLaren building. Uh, it's iconic, many people know of it. A lot of practical jokes are played on the dome. R2-D2 has been drawn up there. A cop car every now and then uh, will be up there, and the police will be all confused. Um, but what I think of MIT, I think of what this building is able to facilitate. Between the two domes you see in the picture is what is known as the infinite corridor. And if you ever walk down that corridor, people bump and connect to, into each other all the time, and great ideas get spread. And this building actually is really 20 buildings, and all the different disciplines collaborate in a really remarkable way. And my talk today, the theme is collaboration. And I want to make a, a, an announcement here about that. So I'm at the MIT Media Lab in the camera culture group that Ramesh Rasker runs. Uh, Ramesh stood at TEDx Gateway, the first uh, event he, he stood in the circle and made uh, a presentation about iNetra, which was an idea at the time. And it came out of the fabrications class, and the idea was to create a device that can help people that didn't know their eye prescription value uh, get, get that information. And that device now has been commercialized and is, is a big uh, impact player in global health. And Ramesh is an inpatient guy. And he said, I want to do many projects like this, but not one at a time. I want to do them in parallel. And we thought about coming up with a program that could facilitate open innovation. And we're calling it Redux, Redux, Rethinking, Engineering, Design, Execution. And there are five stages to it, and I'm going to go through each stage to give you a sense of it. And we think of the stages uh, through a, a, a football framework. The goalie doesn't run up to the other side of the team and score, unless it's a really bad team. You often have to pass the ball to the appropriate players. Well, at those different five stages, we want to be able to make the right pass of the work we're doing to the right people. And we think India is, is key in that. So the first stage is identification. At MIT, we teach classes like engineering health that thinks about the trends in big data and mobile and optics and computer vision. And, and we come up with projects that we think we could uh, start devising. We also identify talent that can come to India, and that's why I've been here eight times to run, recently, to run uh, events that we're calling Red X Camps. Uh, and we also build the devices that we've dreamed up in the class. Now, as engineers, we're proud that we've come up with these ideas, but we want to bring another uh, uh, voice to the table, and that's clinicians. So we asked doctors to give us their ideas. And here's a, a team of doctors that said, well, for babies, I want to check peripheral vision. Or we talked to doctors about what a medical tricorder in Star Trek would look like and what would they like to see. And as engineers, we think about creating it. We've also realized that talking to people one-on-one -on -one isn't the most efficient way. So we've created a website, Medit, where people can log in their ideas. So then we identify talent in India. And we've done three of these camps to date, and we want the best innovators in India to work with us. We take 100 at a time, and we're doing it in two cities, Mumbai and Hyderabad, and we pick 20 projects for a week, and we ask the innovators of India to work with our instructors to build these, to really see if our ideas uh, have merit. So the prototyping begins. It's a hardware-software combo. We're getting a lot of engineers that may not even have a background in health working with us. These are the 60 devices we've created to date. And here are the students uh, devising them. I like the, the picture with the student teaching the doctor uh, what he had come up with. And here the students present back to an expert panel about their projects. Here Ratan Tata came and visited. He went to all 20 stations and then left the building. Elvis has left the building. He was so moved by what he saw that 90 minutes later, and I don't think it had anything to do with India traffic, he turned around and came back and talk to us about how we have to scale this. We have to empower the next generation of Indians to keep doing this kind of stuff. <clears throat> I hope you're clapping for me to go on and not stop. Um, so the third stage is the development stage. And that's where we identify of the 20 projects we built, we want to move four to six on to being further developed. And it's not only the idea of the 100 innovators that we worked with from India, we want to take 20 of them to continue with us year-round, in parallel, to co collaborate with us as we're doing the research at MIT. We also want them to be working with us here. 
And to do that, we established an innovation center in Hyderabad. And Kalam, who's been to LV Prasad Eye Hospital, loves the place, said, I want to come see these young people who are part of India's future. And he inaugurated this center that Scient and Mohan Reddy helped underwrite. And we're going to build one also in, in, in uh, Mumbai, too. The fourth uh, stage is working with the health community. So um, getting um, validation and clinical trials of these devices. And we're also working with a city, Nasik, to be a sandbox to test these ideas as we begin to come up with them. Um, and then finally, the fifth stage is we want to scale these ideas. And we are focusing on India as a place to start, but we think this idea of running these camps and doing this open innovation can be done around the world. And we ultimately want to impact billions. And Ramesh often says, we're going to impact five billion. And I kind of do the math, and I think some of those people haven't been born yet when he says that. Um, so Ramesh is an impatient guy, and it was very emotional for him to kind of share iNetra here a few years ago. This is another device that we're working on now. It's, you can clap when I tell you about this one. It's really cool. This is iMitra, and it takes pictures of the blood flow um, uh, uh, at the back of your eye, the one non-invasive place you can get that information. And you can get predictive analytics, so like getting the weather in your neighborhood, you can get your health, and then go to your health, have a different relationship with your health provider. We want to create five, 10, 20 of these kind of devices. Our theory of change, the way we think we can do this, is to collaborate. And we want to get the best of India to work with us. And we're really committed to this. And we think this is a new model of research and development and deployment and is going to make the world turn faster. Thank you very much for being awesome.